Okay guys, so this is the second in this series of videos, I guess we'll say. Um, the first example I did was a concave mirror. This is going to be much the same, only it's going to be with a convex mirror. Okay, uh, some of the terminology here you might want to go back for a better um, explanation in that first uh, couple of videos. Okay, so we'll start of course with our principal axis, l'axe principal. This is something that'll probably be already in your booklet. So just a nice straight horizontal line. And then of course we have to put our mirror in, so it's going to be a miroir convex. And we need our focal point. So we'll stick that F in there. And F once more is already in your examples that you guys are using. So there's uh, there's no need to actually draw F. I have to put it here because, of course, I'm dealing with a blank piece of paper. All right. Um, the example we're going to use, the object, is going to be another stick figure. So we'll put the stick person figure right here, and we can get started. Now, we're following the exact same rules as we did for our concave mirror example, and that would be the parallel focal point, focal point, parallel, okay, et pour en français, parallèle, foyer, foyer, parallèle. So it works perfect for French and English, and I really like that. Okay, so we have our step one and our step two, and of course, this will be our incident ray and the reflected, and this will be the incident ray and reflété. Okay, so we're going to go from the top. By convention, as I mentioned in the concave example, you're going to go from the top of your object, and that's how you're going to make your image. We always want to start from the same point with both of these full rays. That's important because their actual um, convergence is what's going to represent where is the image. Okay, so from the top, parallel foyer is our first one there, parallel. I'm going to take my ruler. I'm just going to make a nice straight level line. That's why rulers are good. And again, I am making this parallel with this line. Okay, so line it up. The bottom of the ruler works nice for that. So let's make that an easy parallel line. And I'm going to use my arrowheads to indicate the direction. Okay, and step two. That's incident. Right done already. All right. Step two, we're going to go from here with our foyer. So just like when you were little and you played connect the dots, you just put your ruler down and you find where they connect. You should never be wondering where to put your ruler, choosing your angle, guessing your angle. It's automatic. You have your F, you have this parallel line, and all you have to do is connect them with the ruler. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Right there. A note, I'm not going to actually draw a line over here because that's not a ray of light that's behind the mirror. The ray of light actually is here, okay? And so it came in and bounced off of the mirror. You can, however, represent maybe with a dotted line or a couple of dots where you got that angle, okay? So now we can see the angle came from F, but it's actually just bouncing off the mirror. There's nothing going on really back here, okay? Arrowhead and R for reflected. Okay, reflected. All right, so that's this one. Done. On to the second part. We have our foyer parallel. So we're just going to do the same thing in reverse. So once more, by convention, I'm going from the top of my object and I'm going to not pick an angle and go here or up here. It's connect the dots. You are making it. And it is automatic. So I take top of that to the F, line it up with the ruler. There we go. And I'm going to make a line. I'm not going to extend the line past my mirror because really nothing is actually happening back here. But I will, like I did for the first part, indicate with some dots where we got those. Okay. And there you go. Stick an arrowhead on. And that's our second incident right here. 
So the last one we have to do is that reflected ray, okay, bouncing off of the mirror. It's going to be parallel to our axe principal, or principal axis. Really trying to keep this kind of bilingual so both groups can use it. So I know that sounds funny to a lot of you. Okay, so parallel. Let me go here. Now I went straight through the stick person, and that's okay. Okay, no stick figures were used or were uh, harmed in the making of this video, we can say. All right, that's absolutely fine for a ray diagram. Now, we can see that these rays are not going to actually converge ever. In fact, they are diverging. So in the second part of this video, we're going to make the image and show what we're going to have to do here. So I'm just going to pause the video here and we can see uh, exactly what we do next. Thanks.